as your business grows, your item list also grow. Here in this video, we'll show you how to add items in your item list. From the back office, there are two different ways of viewing your menu, item view and table view. To add a category from item view, type in the category name. Notice here I'm typing 00 extra. 00 is an index to indicate the order of categories that will appear on the tablet from left to right. Click Add Category. If you'd like to add options to an item, click on the green plus icon. Then, type in the name and the corresponding price values for each option as well. Don't forget to click on Save Changes when you are finished. If your tablet is online, your menu should automatically update to include the items you have just added. Another way to edit your menu in item view is through the POS tablet itself. All you have to do is go to the menu tab, click on items, and here you will see all your items in item view. Make the necessary adjustments and you're done. If you prefer more customization for how your menu will be arranged, then table view might be more suitable for you. Here, you can see all your items in table form, similar to Excel. Existing categories will be shown on the leftmost column. In this case, our first category is Appetizer. If you want to add items into existing categories, simply click on a row within this category. Right-click and insert row above or below. Remember that the order of the items on the table view from top to bottom is also the order of the buttons in the POS tablet from left to right. If you want to create a different category, for example, extras, just scroll to the bottom of your menu list. Right-click on the bottom row and insert row below. For every item you want to add, you have to insert a new row. So if you're adding three new items, insert three new rows. Now you have to fill in four main fields, category, items, options, and price. For adding new items into existing categories, simply click the category cell. Here, you need to duplicate the category name either by dragging the cell, copy pasting, or typing it the same way. Remember to ensure format is the same because our system is case sensitive. A disparity in spelling, spacing, or capitalization will make a new category or item name. Now that you've done that, fill the item name with new product, provide price, and don't forget to click Save Changes to appear on the tablet. If you are to add sizing or variety of an item, best to use option. To add an option, simply duplicate the category and item column, then fill in the options. Add the corresponding price for each, and don't forget to click Save Changes. Once again, ensure your tablet is online so the changes would reflect in the POS tablet successfully. And that's it. Should you have any questions, reach us through our Facebook group chat. Happy selling!